Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. You know, one thing we all learn in theory is that a vertical antenna has a lower takeoff angle. You know, and you see where models and, and such of horizontal antennas and, and their far field plots and, and their 3D models of what's going on. And, and you know that the takeoff angle of a horizontal antenna is such, and then you also see the models of a vertical antenna and you can see the lower takeoff angle on those as well. You know, that's great in theory, but I've been over here in Poland operating as Sierra Papa stroke K4 OGO off and on now for a year and a half. It's about to come to an end, but in this year and a half, I've really experimented with a lot of horizontal antennas and a lot of vertical antennas. I wouldn't say a lot, but a few vertical antennas, probably more horizontal antennas because I can't experiment with those back in the States at my home QTH the way I can here. I've got this big backyard that I can play around with. And uh, one thing I have learned and I've experienced just from experience itself that it is a true fact that vertical antennas for DX are, they're, they're the way to go. I've made more DX contacts with a vertical than I have with a, with a horizontal. As a matter of fact, as far as horizontal antennas are concerned, my DX contacts have mostly been when I've had them sloping down at really sloping. So I want to uh, show you a few vertical antennas that, um, that I built here and at home and on the beach. And then I want to build a couple antennas and show you some results right now that I've done here over the past week. So stick around. Over the past few years, I've built a lot of antennas and a lot of cool verticals. And I really love verticals for me, especially when I'm operating on the beach, because that's that's the ticket. You got a ground plane right there. You have the salt water and that vertical and the low takeoff angle. You can really work some DX. And I've done some amazing things with QRP and low power uh, sitting on the beach with a vertical antenna. Some of these antennas are the uh, and probably the easiest to build is the quarter wave ground plane antenna. And that's a simple quarter wave up on a pole. And uh, with if you're on land, uh, you know, a nice ground plane, if you're by the salt water and one radial basically in the salt water works well another great one I've, I've built and used is the half wave vertical i built those for 20 meters and usually it's about sort of roughly around uh, 33 feet up on a I use a 10 meter pole i've done that with a 49 to 1 on on i've also done that i've actually purchased the m1 ecc uh, halfway vertical for 20 meters and it has a matching box which is a little better it's a, it's it, it helps re it's a resonant antenna basically for for 20 with that match box um also uh vertical verticals with tuning coil with a coil i've got both uh i have a wolf river coil that i use with a military whip on it it's really a great performer it gets me 10 through 80 meters i also have the uh slidewinder dx coil i like this one a lot because it's smaller and easier to uh, transport transport around in my little bag, uh, portable. Great, both of those are really great coils and, and I really love them a lot. A vertical dipole. This is a truly resident antenna for wherever you built it. I've built one for 10 meters. Uh, all you needed was the, uh, the the dipole and a radio. It's a resident antenna for, for that. Um, Along with that, uh, there's hamstick vert verticals. You can purchase hamsticks for whatever band you're operating on. Put them on a on a, a stick or a mount on the ground and uh, put some radials underneath it. And, uh, and hamstick verticals are great. Um, also, mobile. You can put a mag mount on top of your car with a hamstick vertical and operate, you know, mobile with those as well. Um, also, when you're operating mobile, another great mobile antenna. It's just so many CB antennas out there and you think of CB, but uh, most of those operate and work in the 10 meter band. I've done that quite a few times with uh, just store-bought CB antennas on, on, a, uh, on a mag mount. They, they really work really great. Um, I've also um, made uh, some antennas that you can purchase or build yourself as the QRP guys tri-band antenna. I actually had that one in Hawaii with me and uh, it's nice little switch on it and you can go, you know, from band to band, three, three bands. And that was a, that's a great vertical as well for operating in and some DX. I actually had a contact from uh, Kauai down to uh, New Zealand on that. And that's a long ways. I know they think they're both in the Pacific, but it was a, I think it was about 7,000 mile contact with that. Um, made some crazy antennas, some fun antennas. I've made a 
helical. I've, I've taken a random wire and, and wrapped it around a, a, a pole, like a five or a six meter pole, and made a helical random wire, and that worked really well. I, I worked across the pond with, with that as a kind of a, a, an experimental play around antenna. Uh, I've used a slinky. I put a slinky on a pole, a vertical pole, and had a slinky antenna, and uh, basically a, a, a kid's toy, a toy, a metal slinky, up on a pole as well. Um, I made <laughs> one of my favorites, and, and I worked long path from here in Poland all the way to New Zealand. Was a tape measure vertical. I, I, it's nice because there's your measurement. You just put the tape up, find your spot, and I made one for 20 meters, and, and like I said, had a. A long path uh, contact a couple over to uh, Australia with that antenna. So it was great, and it proved the theory and the fact that uh, verticals are definitely uh, DX antennas if you could talk around the world with a tape measure there. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, so with all those said, um, I'm going to build my favorite vertical, and I've got a few videos on this, and people that know me know how much I really love this antenna. And that's the Ribikoff, the Ribikoff vertical antenna. It's 7.6 meters high, and it's uh, it's a four to one unun, and then and then you have bands. You got 40. I've worked uh, across the pond from 40 all the way to 10 meters. Uh, you can use it for six meters. That's a great antenna. After that, I'm going to take it down and I'm build another. My second favorite antenna. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I'll, I'll keep you guessing for a little bit. Um, and it probably it may surprise you what my second favorite vertical antenna is, but I'm going to build it as well. So let's get these antennas up, see if we can make some DX contacts, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the antenna. I've got uh, about 50 feet of coax running down to uh, the LDG 1 to 1. That's the LDG 4 to 1. A short piece of coax going to that. I've got eight counterpoise wires that are all about five meters each, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, also, if you can see it down at the bottom, that's 22 gauge wire that I have going to the top of this pole that I've scrapped together from three poles. It's dying, but that is 7.6 meters up, about 25 feet, and there it is, a Ribikoff vertical antenna, and uh, I have had probably more success as a vertical antenna, I've had more success with this antenna than any vertical I think I've ever built. It's just amazing. So let's see if it's true to form, a vertical for DX. See, it's uh, shaking in the wind there a little bit. It's windy right now, but uh, there you go. There's the antenna. Let's get on the air. And my rig is the FX4CR transceiver, 20 watts. Along with that, I'm using the LDG AT100 Pro 2 auto tuner. QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt. Uh, the QTH is the north of Poland near Gdansk. I'm an American here working in Poland there. You're uh, you're about 5'8", uh, peaking at 5'9". Good signal here this morning. I'm just running uh, 20 watts, 20 watts here. Yeah, 20 watts, you're 5 and 7, 57. Uh, nice to hear you there, and good luck, and very good morning. Over. Uh, sorry about the confusion. Uh, are you sure it's Kilo Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar? Oscar Golf Oscar. I apologize. My mistake. My name is Mike, Mexico, India, Kilo Echo. I'm in Pennsylvania on the border of New York and New Jersey. I worked you once before, Walt, last year on 15 meters back in uh, March of 2020. Over. QSL, QSL, yeah, I come over here for work for a few weeks at a time. I'm here now until the end of June there. You're 5'8", good signal. Um, it's actually morning here. It's about 5 a.m. here. Um, good signal, about 5'8", uh, peaking a little bit higher than that at times. But uh, thanks so much for taking the call. I'm just running 20 watts, 20 watts in a vertical here. Yeah, I saw that note in my log from the last time we worked on 15. I'm very impressed. Uh, there's uh, quite a bit of noise suddenly cropped up on the frequency. Somebody got close by. So you're in my splatter zone a little bit, but you're still up to about a five and six. Over. Sugar Papa, so Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Whiskey 1, Mike, Bravo, Bravo. You're five and seven, 50. 
Roger, Roger. Thanks for taking the call, Matt. You're uh, five nine near Gdansk, up near Gdansk, Poland, near the Baltic Sea. There. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for five nine near Gdansk, uh, near the Baltic Sea. You're five and seven fifty seven. Thank you for the call. Sugar Papa again. Sugar Papa. Stroke. Kilo four. Oscar Golf. Oscar. QSL, QSL, you're 5858. Five, I'm near Gdansk in Poland. Roger, Roger. Thank you for 58 Poland, my friend. 589 stateside. All the best, 73. Well, this thing has been taking a beating. The wind, it's unbelievable that it's still up. Because it is just bowing and about to die. Taking a tough beating. So, I went to a local mall here today and purchased this. This is uh, called a Lakeside 100 Travel by Kaeperlin. It's six meters, six meters. Um, if you're looking for this and you're in Europe, the store was Decathlon Sports. So, there it is, uh, a six meter pole. What I think I'm going to do with the uh with the noodle here is <laughs> take it down and uh yeah look at that it's really just a matter of time it's ready to ready to go and um, i'm going to take it down trim the wire to a quarter wave for a 20 meter band so uh take that six point i'm sorry 7.6 meter wire and take it down to about uh five point one or 50 10 millimeters 5010 millimeters but yeah that's uh that's not a good thing anyway let me get the new antenna up we'll see if we can make some contacts okay here we go that's better and even though it's still windy nice and straight that's cool that was 119 zloty which is about 32 us dollars it's like I've got the top part of a DX Commander there. Cool and cool pole. Really cool. Nice and stout. Not moving in the wind. And now I've got a quarter wave ground plane for 20 meters. And the other thing I did was remove the 4 to 1 ballon. 4 to 1 unun, I should say. And uh, put a banana clip with my little 1 to 1 ballon to it now. So uh, that's it. Uh, now it's officially a quarter wave ground plane for 20 meters. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Oscar Golf Oscar, thank you. Uh, your point and point 55 in Tenerife, the Canary Islands, right there. Roger, Roger, you're 5 5 and near Gdansk in Poland. Yeah, yes, you're 5-5 five, five in northern Poland, near the Baltic Sea. Uh, in, in Poland, uh, so Sierra Papa, stroke, kilo for Oscar, golf, Oscar, Roger. Roger, Roger, I'm an American working in Poland, and you're 5-5 five, five, uh, near Gdansk, Poland, near the Baltic Sea. Roger, Roger, I just copied kilo, Papa, uh, that's the reason why I asked. Thank you for uh, correcting. Uh, name is Raina Radio Alpha India November Echo Radio at TPH Tenerife. Have a nice weekend, and have a Thank you so much. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Tango. This is my first contact to the Canary Islands. Thank you so much. Seventy three. Oscar Golf Oscar. Sierra Papa stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Okay, you're about a 4 and 4. You haven't got a very good copy on you there. Uh, QSL, I'm just running 20 watts, just 20 watts here. We're still daylight too, not quite in the gray line here. Okay, you take care all the best. Thank you again. Thank you, 73. Uh, 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 Sierra Papa stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. 
Uh, QSL. QSL, QSL, I'm an American in Poland, you're at 5-9 in near Gdansk. Thank you, it's a hard one to give out as well. 73, my friend. 73. So there you go. There's my experiment for this past week. And you can see that uh, instead of uh, listening to all the theory and all of the uh, models and everything else, I just went out and built them to show you my experience here and uh, and how wonderful it is just to have a vertical in the air. I know most of those, or almost all of them, were on the 20 meter band, but right now 20 meters is about what it's, what's going on here in Europe. Um, where I'm at, I'm up in the north part, northern Poland, near the Baltic Sea. And uh, really, the, uh, the the muff, I, I haven't been able to work much above 20 megahertz. So tw 20 meters has been money in the mornings and late in the evenings for me right now. Um, I can get on 40. I tell you what, 40 meters in my location is difficult. I think I may do a video and show you guys how hard it is to work 40 meters here. And it's not the antenna and it's not the equipment. It's the environment and the surroundings and everything that's going on next to me. So pretty tough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my experiment with uh, vertical antennas and uh, look, looking back on some of the other ones I've built. I'm going to be in Poland just a couple more weeks and this may be the last trip here for a while uh, and maybe forever. I'm not sure. And I'll be off to other places and working in other spots and experimenting with other antennas. I just don't know if I'll have anything as wonderful as this backyard that I've had here in Poland and this house that uh, my company has rented to work with. So I've been truly blessed and have really enjoyed uh, being here in Europe and being able to play ham radio under this EPT uh, deal. And uh, I know that's limited to time, but I, I've gone back and forth. I've probably gone, uh, I think I go home for six week breaks. I've been here sometimes six weeks, sometimes eight weeks. And, um, and it's nice. It's nice to experiment in a different QTH in a different location and get to be an operator in a different country, especially here in Europe. For me, it was wonderful. Um, all the antennas I showed earlier, I have videos on them. If you're not a subscriber, you can go back and look through those. I go into some details on how I built them and you can see how they performed as well. Anyway, if you like the uh, video or if you're interested in playing with antennas the way I am, uh, this is the channel for you. Please uh, like and subscribe and go back and check out some of my other videos. Until next time, this this is Walt Sierra Papa stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. See you soon, guys. 73.